Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be opening up 250,000 MT of the brand new Lunar New Year packs here in NBA 2K24, my team. Yes, I am fully aware that I said I would not be opening packs like 45 minutes ago. Uh, 2K did something that I did not expect, and they made this Lunar New Year Pink Dial Michael Beasley buyable directly for 125,000 BC. Good job by 2K, first and foremost. I want to start off just by saying good job. I think this is the right move, and this honestly kind of invalidates the entire complaint video that I made this morning. I will be completely honest. Um, that video now looks kind of bad. I wouldn't say it looks horrible because I, the point still stands that a pack-only card would be a terrible thing, but at least he is guaranteed buyable. With money, yes, it is the equivalent of what, I don't know how much money it costs to buy 125k VC, but if you buy $50 worth of VC, it's 200. So I guess it's like 30 bucks worth of VC, something like that. Um, I mean, $30 for a Michael Beasley card, like he's the best small forward in the game, probably. I mean, it's a little expensive, but I, I don't totally hate it. So for me, this is enough to where I'm like, eh, okay, I'm not too mad about it. So we are gonna actually do this pack opening today. Massive shout out to my boy Cabrillo for letting me use his account to record this pack opening. He's not playing my team anymore, so he's got a bunch of spare MT on his account, said I could use it. So we're gonna open up a 10 pack deluxe box in addition to a base box like I've been doing the past few weeks. And we're gonna see if we can pull anything good today. Uh, obviously today's packs are weird. Yao is terrible and the rest of the cards are like good but not unbelievably great this isn't the best drop ever um it's definitely not as good of a drop i don't think as people were expecting it to be but yet there are still some really good cards e is amazing beasley is obviously incredible andre blatch oj mayo wang all look exciting as well there's some good cards in today's drop that i'm certainly excited to try out and yeah without further ado let's hop right into it let's start off let's just take a look first and foremost at the pack odds three percent odds at a pink diamond 12 percent odds at a diamond and 100% odds, obviously, at an amethyst or above. Looking at the base pack odds real quickly, you are looking at a 3% chance at an amethyst. So it's the same 3% chance base odds, which means the base packs for another week in a row are not worth opening whatsoever. Your odds are that you're going to lose a ton of MT opening up these base packs. So you know what? Real quickly, we'll start off with the base box. We'll just rip a quick 10-pack base box uh, because I do think these are going to be terrible, but I might as well just open up a base box as well to show that just like like I did last week. Last week, I don't think I pulled a single set player out of the one base box that I opened. Uh, the week before, I think I pulled one Amethyst, still lost a bunch of MT, but 38,000 MT for a base box, and unless I get insanely lucky and pull something really good, the odds are that I'm going to lose nearly all of it in these 10 packs. Um, so we'll just rip this one open real quickly, and then we'll hop into the deluxe box and uh, actually try to pull something decent. Again, I just like to open up the base packs just to show y'all what's in these as well, but the last few weeks, unfortunately, these base packs have just been terrible, so not even worth opening, in my opinion, whatsoever. Not even worth considering. For a few of those promos that have come out earlier this year, the base packs were actually really good but that has certainly not been the case as of late the odds are significantly too bad on these base packs for them to be even close to worth opening in my personal opinion as we have gone 0 for 9 on any sort of lunar new year set players and 0 for 10 right there all right we opened 10 packs did not pull a single lunar new year player and lost a total of 20,000 mt right there off of that pack off of that box that was really bad Honestly, I knew it was going to be really bad, but it was really bad. So would not recommend opening those up at all. Um, but there you go. For those of you who want to see a base box, now you have seen a base box. Let's open a deluxe box and see if we can actually get some decent pulls. Uh, would love to see a pink diamond pull. 3% odds at a pink diamond would be amazing. Obviously, we're going to start off with shakes for all these amethysts. But then the amp when we pull duplicate amethysts, there will be no shake. Um, so hopefully we'll see as many shakes as possible. Starting off with this dude. Andrew, I literally had never heard of this dude until yesterday, and I would consider myself far from a basketball casual, but I had no idea who that dude was. So maybe I am a casual. I'm not sure, but I did not know who he was until yesterday. Um, but we pull Andrew. He's a three hunting beast, actually. Second back, another amethyst, hoping for at least a couple diamonds or pink diamonds or something decent today. But we will have to see. Uh, starting off, or I guess getting a slow mo Kyle Anderson there. This card actually looks like he would be really solid if his release was a little quicker, but I don't think he's great i think he's a little too limited uh but kyle anderson is going to be our second poll let's keep it going with the shakes because eventually if we keep pulling shakes well we pull ourselves an amethyst no shake there the back to back kyle anderson's three packs in three amethysts i'm seeing another week where packs are probably not worth opening i'm not gonna lie to y'all fourth pack fourth amethyst 
I just think your odds of pulling good cards are a little bit too low right now for the packs to really be worth opening. We pull a Smush Parker here. Two Lakers point guards as among the Amethysts today. That's weird to me that they literally dropped two Lakers point guards as two of the Amethysts today. Uh, that's kind of fascinating. I would think they dropped one of those and then one of them another week. But all right, another Amethyst. This is, I believe, the last Amethyst that we don't have already, which would be, uh, yes, Al Harrington right here. And that means five packs in. We have pulled all four Amethysts. So any other shakes we see should be, unless the game is glitched. Um, any other Amethyst we see should, or sorry, shakes we see should be Diamond and up. So fingers crossed for some shakes. And there we go. All right, Diamond. First pull Diamond pull. I want to see a Pink Diamond. I have not pulled a Pink Diamond since AK. AK is the only Pink Diamond player I've pulled all year. And I pulled him out of a base box. Uh, would love to pull somebody new, though. I, as we get JJ Hickson. Uh, who I actually really thought was going to have a great career and then just kind of faded away into obscurity very quickly. But that card looks okay. He's got his release on quick, kind of a low three ball and kind of undersized, but looks like an intriguing card. Seventh pack, unfortunately no shake. Another Andrew Goodalock, Goldalock, whatever his name is. I don't even know. Eighth pack, also no shake, is going to give us another Kyle Anderson, our third slow-mo. And I am not going to lie to y'all. These packs are looking garbage. Second diamond. And here's the thing. 12% odds. I actually have gotten quote unquote lucky in this box by pulling two diamonds instead of just one. As we get an Andre Blatch, this is actually the best pull we've gotten today by far. Easily the best pull we've gotten. Andre Blatch right there. Two diamonds in that 10 box, by the way, makes means that I actually got lucky in that 10 box. Overall, the packs just aren't work, worth work opening this week. The cards aren't good enough. Uh, fourth Kyle Anderson. I don't see the value in it. We get 34,000 MT back. Let's open up a couple of singles and see if we can go for that elusive pink diamond. And if we can't out of these next two singles, I think we'll call it a pack opening. These are going to be the last two packs of the video. One amethyst right here is another Andrew Goldilock, whatever his name is. Uh, that is not his name. I know, but I want to say Goldilocks. And then finally, last pack of the video is going to be... Let's see if we can get a shake at least. Uh, finish it off with another diamond or something would be kind of fire. My guess is it won't. And we do. Wow. Okay. Well, and it's glitched. Great. Great. We get a glitch shake at the end of it. It's another amethyst, but it's uh, for whatever reason, it's shaking. I thought I pulled a diamond to finish us off, but no, another smush Parker instead. All right. Well, that should be a pretty good picture right there. Packs again for like the third or fourth week in a row. Definitely not worth opening, in my personal opinion. Uh, I expected that to be the case. Honestly, today's drop is pretty much a go buy the cards you want. If you want Beasley, go buy him with VC. Otherwise, go buy the cards you want with MT from the player market. Do not lock in for Yao Ming. He sucks. Just go get who you want from today's drop. Uh, if there is anybody who actually does pop up as a card that you really, really want to add to your squad. And if there's nobody that you really want to add to your squad today, then just move on. I would not open these packs. I don't think they're worth it. Your odds of pulling anything good are way too low. Uh, at least Beasley is viable, though. That is a, a positive. I will say that. But as a whole, this is a very disappointing set. Yao himself as a card is a huge letdown. And just overall, not the best day of content. I'll be completely honest. Beasley's cool, though. And at least he is viable. It's better than nothing. That is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.